Hello, and it's Vancator here today. Today I'm going to be doing a video to show you guys and tell you guys what I've been doing lately. So you may have noticed I've been quite silent on my channel. And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for that. I've had some things and doing some things. And, yes, I am very, very okay and alive. I am totally not dead or replaced by a robot people. I mean, what? <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I've been doing quite a lot of things. Mainly testing, server, writing, and stuff like that. So sorry for the lack of updates. However, there are two plans I plan to do. Well, two major updates things I plan to do in the future. For starters, first off, the first thing I'm going to do is work on this test pack. We have a decent enough test pack where we can continue on to 1.12.1. However, there are still bugs, which is slightly annoying. I'm going to talk to Quark. I'm going to talk to um, wearables, find out where the mod is. So let me show you the bug really quickly. So normally when you're wearing this in 1.12, it would just like change your animation so it looks like you're kind of gliding. Like you do with the elytra. Let me just fly up, I guess. Whoosh. I'm going to fly up really high while eating some food. Okay, I'm high enough that I don't render. So it would basically put you like that whenever you have the wings. As you can see, I'm folded and stuff. But, oh, shh. Good job. Good job, brain. But because of whatever reason, I don't know if it's wearables, I don't know if it's Quark, I don't know if it's something else. But yeah, I have a feeling it has to do with Quark or something. I don't know why. Probably gut feeling and the fact that uh, emotes exist. <laughs> I have a feeling. I have a feeling it's just probably wearables itself, to be honest. Ow. So, uh, yeah, it changes that thing. It also changes the jetpack itself, so the jetpack doesn't do the... Awesome animation did before. Which is kind of sucks, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to report that. See if you'll fix it. And uh, yeah, we already had to report a few bugs. Um, Natura had a Redwood generator crash when I was trying to use some Redwood. But then I realized by default, Natura turns off Redwood trees. For whatever reason. I'm still not sure why. And uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't know why it turned off clouds too. I really like the clouds. It's so sad. Alright, to explain what we're going to be mainly doing, the two main series are going to be two things. This test pack, which I've been discussing for the last five minutes, and also one other thing which will be which uh, will be Space Expedition. Because we haven't done a video on that in quite a while. Me and TM were originally waiting for the 1.12 version, but in it uh, when it did come, we were kind of busy with test pack, and we kind of ignored it. Uh, Dan says he's going to let me know when the newest fix is out for test pack. Well, not test pack. Uh, blah, 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 words. Uh, he's going to let me know when the newest fix is out for Space Expedition. And we're going to do a new video series. We're probably going to start from fresh because they want to start the introduction fresh and stuff. And I'm gonna try, I might try to get one friend of mine to try it out. Someone who you pop, have probably no one on this bloody series has ever heard. I probably will here. I don't know. Maybe they don't want to be recorded. In which case, I understand. I don't know. Maybe I will. Um, Space Expedition, in case you guys don't know, is a vanilla custom map with a lot of awesome features. Um, yeah. I'm going to try to redo that series again. See if we can get it alive. And not bury 1500 feet underground. Um, for Test Pack. We had some changes to plans and stuff. So you may not know our test pack. I may have put some videos, one or two videos, but I never really divulged what test pack is. So let me explain. This is called test pack, even though my unofficial name for it is the retrofuturistic pack. Now the main, the core mods of this aren't Quark or any of the other stupid mods. No offense, they're not actually stupid. It's TF2 weapons, surprisingly. And you're probably wondering, how does that make any sense? So with TF2 weapons, there's a lot. So let me explain this whole story. When I was bored one day, <laughs> that's why I started a story. When I was bored that day, oh boy, I am a I'm a total dingus, aren't I? I am the king dingus of the dingus. Let me get some rockets really quickly. Yay! And some flying boots. Slime boots. Slime boots. Slime, 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 slime boots. Congealed slime. Day to day. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to be jumping around while I explain this. Um, going to lower the volume of it so you guys don't get irritated. We... 
I love this. So much fun. Like legitimately. So much fun. I don't know why I take damage sometimes, but still I don't care. So, I could just bounce around the speed of sound. Boing. <laughs> right. So yeah, this mod was based off of TF2, mainly because there wasn't many mod packs that really focused on TF2 stuff or any of the TF2 things for whatever reason. I really don't know why. It really genuinely confuses me. Why, why is there like a million packs for like bloody Lucky Block itself but not sending for TF2 stuff, which is actually a decent and well-maintained mod? For Pete's sakes, I talk to the mod owner every other day, Raffredick, because he has awesome things. And yeah. To be honest, I like Raffredick more than most other mod makers because um, he actually upped... When I tell him, be like, hey, Raffredick, crits were broken. Oh, I'll fix it. Two days later, it's fixed. Yay! Glory! Glorious! We Oh, fudge. Is it because I'm pressing shift? I think it might be because of my rocket jumping. I can't press shift. Otherwise, I take damage and almost kill myself. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh my god, that's so cool. I'm having so much fun with this. Right. So, yeah. It's mainly based off of TF2 stuff because I really like the mod. It's pretty cool. Oh, look, like experience. It's really cool. I like the mod. I want to make a mod pack off of it. And, uh, yeah. Um, this mod is quite strange at times. And let me explain why. Whenever we make too much progress in a day, either me making a multi-block structure TM or Odie making something high-tiered or something, the mod seems to throw bosses at us. I'm not sure if Raffredick somehow coded that? Or what the deal with that is? If he coded that, first off, holy, holy fudge, man. You, you have a lot of detail you put into these bloody mods. Second, if he didn't code that, holy cow, the bosses have predictive timing. Or something. I have legitimately no other explanation for it. Hey, why does it show that? Yeah, I know, yeah, I'll fan. That's weird. Does it show... Wait, wait, does it just show all of them in my inventory currently? Yeah, I think that's all it does. It just tells me if there's more in my inventory. Anyway, uh, let me think. Ow. Ow. So, yeah. The TF2 stuff mod is unusually tough. As you saw right now when I was bouncing around, the soldier just came up and almost murdered me alright. Which isn't fun. It may seem like fun, but it isn't fun. It's actually quite annoying. Because I'm bouncing around to speed of sound. I don't need to deal with soldiers. I don't want to tolerate that. So yeah. TF2 stuff mod, quite powerful. And this is the basis of all our mods that we continue to add in. We added in some strange mods, and you're probably wondering, uh, wait, you have AE2, how does that fit in with Team Fortress 2 at all? So, I don't know if you guys have read the TF2 comics, or if you've even played the game, you know there's a lot of weird future tech stuff in the TF2, and it supposedly takes place in 1968, which is why I call this the future, the retro future pack. I don't know, I, I don't understand the logic of TF2 either, guys, I, I legitimately do not, I'm confused most times when I read a TF2 comic, I'm like, what the fuck just happened? So, yeah. Basically, there's a lot of things. Immersive Engineering was our second because, for Pete's sakes, you think of tier 2, you probably think of some retro pack with uh, wires and cables and stuff. And then and then we were looking and there was Immersive Engineering. And then, oh boy, perfect match in heavy to heaven. No kiss. And uh, you're probably wondering, why actually additions? Actually additions is what I would think would happen mainly for when we read when they reach the golden tier, when they already are, like, super powerful in TF2. And you're probably thinking, that's absurd. They made a rocket out of Australia in one of the comics. I'm pretty sure absurdity is the least thing I am. I'm pretty sure the comic's more absurd than I am. And that's saying something. So you're probably wondering, uh, so what do you, why, why is A2 there? Because there was an, there, literally the only logic I have for A2 being there is because there was a rocket that crashed into the planet of Earth that brought weapons and I was thinking huh wouldn't that make sense with AE2 oh wait it does so we'll add that in 
And you're probably wondering, why are bees here then? Bees don't add anything useful or contribute it greatly. Um, that's actually a trickier question. The reason I added bees mainly is because I wanted to give a reason to explore. Because, well, let's be honest. You don't really explore a lot with actual additions, with immersive engineering, with TF2 stuff mod, or anything. You just kind of hide in a place, make a home, and that's it. But with uh, bees, it encourages you to find more bees, especially since we added more bees so we can get resource bees. So yeah, I personally think, oh, this is the, that's perfect. It's a perfect thing, Jim Boy. We can use that to encourage people to look around instead of sitting at home eating tacos all day. And uh, yeah, I honestly like the bees, even though they're kind of annoying. And Tinker's Construct mainly I added because of the modular ability of Tinker's Construct and also because surprisingly Tinker's Construct weapons work incredibly well with TF2 and the immersive feel, like the old packy type feel I originally wanted. Like to be honest, I didn't want to add Tinker's Construct, but when I added it, I was like, yeah, that may this makes sense. This makes more sense. There's crossbows, there's longbows, there's short bows, there's a lot of things, a lot of things you can customize. There's uh, bloody katanas and stuff. Which is like, I was like, yeah, buddy, this is good. This is golden. So that's why we added Tinker's Construct. That's why we added bees and more bees. And oh, there's a lot of other stuff that we added, mainly for ease of convenience. I'll just show you the list here. Actually, addition, so you guys already know, Applied Energistics to Quark. Now, Quark was something just to add things to the villain of world without really exploding everything, basically. Quark is a small mod. It's a very small mod that's pretty good, and I like it. What's this for? Oh, god dang it. I can't even do a video without you showing up, can I? How about you die? Oh, bliss. You know what? Glad you. I'm out of here. Glad you. I'm out. Peace. Have fun. See you later. See you later, Space Cowboy. I just bounced away at the speed of sound. Ah, uh, don't attack me. Attack Erasmus, you idiots. Quickly run away. Quickly run away. Quickly run. Ow. Okay, cool. Erasmus is hiding so he shouldn't threaten me anymore. Anyway. So, you're probably wondering. Uh, oh, for fudge. Fudge off, you tacos. Leave me alone. Okay, cool. Yeah, this AI is surprisingly good, Jesus Christ. These guys can give sca make skeletons, Jesus. Okay. Right, I'm gonna hide here. I'm gonna shoot that spider in the face. <sighs> I'm gonna change my game with the creator because I don't want to keep getting attacked. So, yeah, it makes more it's like you can see the meteor over here. It makes sense to have that crash into the world and give you random stuff because weapons and logic. Yes. So, what was I on about? I actually lost my train of thought because of all the murder. Right. The Moz. That's right. We're going over to Moz. BD Lib is part of the advanced generators. We also have advanced generators. You're probably wondering, what is that for? You, you really think people would just keep using diesel generators and oil generators for the rest of their life? Really? 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 Okay, moving on. <sighs> we have storage drawers for ease of convenience. Chicken chunks for chunk loading because there's some things we need chunk loaded. Cyclops core for colossal chest. Colossal chest are really useful within, with AE2. And also, Colossal Chest was the first storage mod I thought of when I thought, oh, low tech, don't really need to worry about it. Elevator mods, use storage. Ender Storage was a was a conflicting one. Because I wanted to use something like backpacks, but I didn't want to add a backpack mod, so I just got Ender Storage and I was like, okay. Felling is because we want to have the enchantment on axes and vanilla tools rather than have it only on tank wares. Uh, just enough items is self-explanatory. Natura, forestry, already explained. Well, Natura is just a terrain mod, so I just added that. Immersive engineering. Immersive tag for a combination to immersive engineering to give more fuel options. 
Um, just another or, blah, blah, just another blah, blah, I don't know what the fudge name is. Uh, basically adds uh makes things more smeltable and grindable with IE grinders and stuff. LL library so that we can use the wearables. Modern routers is actually an interesting one. We actually added it because we wanted to do something that wasn't pipes, and this was the first one I thought of, and this is pretty decent so far. The only mod I hate so far, the stupid item transport. Oh my god, actually additions, item transport is confusing as sin. And I seriously, seriously, seriously hate the conveyor belts because the item the entities never despawn. That caused so many issues. Plus the IC for more compatibility to IC to, to Tinker's Construct to make it stronger. Set it lib so that we can have scaling health. Uh, Tinker Tool 11 to make Tinkers even more stronger. Veining for the veining enchantment. Wearables for wearing stuff. And that's basically it. That's all the mods. Not a lot of them are really high tier or high quality or really anything that we need outside of, you know, ease of use and stuff. But, honestly, I really like them and I also like the crit effect. Oh, I almost got to die. So you're probably wondering, uh, Akitori. Um, uh, what, what are you going to do this thing? Um, yeah. When are you going to start the official world? So this is an official world. This is a test pack uh, world. We're testing the world, finding bugs, fixing bugs. I already found a few bugs. Going to report them to the mod makers, see if they do anything. If they don't, well, well. we're still going to use the mods. We're not changing full. We're going full course, full steam with no issues, buddy. We're going to we're gonna keep going until the world stops. So anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> he died instantly. Um, you're probably wondering, uh, what, 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 so, what's the official word going to be? I can't tell you. I don't know what it's going to be either. And along with this, I reset the mini series. Cool. Along with the world, um, I'm going to choose Forestry and Tinkerers. Old one, I'm not sure what he's going to choose. I'm not sure if Tim's coming back. She's been busy for a bit. So if she doesn't come back, oh well. We'll probably find someone else, or we could just keep playing by ourselves and have fun. Um, that's basically it. That's all I really want to update and touch up on. So, yeah. Um, this pack is our test pack, and I call it the Retro Future Pack. And, uh, yeah, main thing of the... To recap, you could probably skip the video all the way to here if you don't want to hear me rambling or shooting rockets or anything. To recap, I'm going to be doing a map... I'm going to be doing this test pack. We're going to see if I upload those on a regular schedule. If I do, hooray for everyone involved. If I don't, well, not surprising. I have I have no sense of timing whatsoever. But, yeah, if you like this uh, video, be sure to leave a comment down below. And, uh, yeah, that's it for today. And also, I just remembered, thank you for 150 subscribers. I honestly was not expecting 150. I was literally expecting to stay stuck at 100 for the next 15 years. So, yay. Thank you all, I guess. Yay. We. That spider is now dead. So, yeah. If you guys have questions, if you want to try out test pack yourself, you can leave a contact me below. You can comment or something. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what I can do. And, uh, yeah, I personally like this mod. It's awesome. I like how it 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 starts when I let go of sneak. Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Bye everyone. How long is this video? God dang, it's gonna be annoying. Oh, you're still alive. Die. Anyway, bye everyone. Crocker. Tawa! Oh, he didn't die. Tawa! Bam. Die. I hate my luck. 